Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do a uh, build of my uh, rig for the uh, pocket similar camera full frame 6K that I got. Um, so I received uh, some comments about the uh, tilt cage that I got for the 6K Pro and I can tell you that it fits 50%. And what I mean is that, um, so the two screw on the bottom fits the bottom uh, screw here, but the top screw here doesn't align with any of the holes on top of here. Uh, if you can see, there should be a hole here to fit. Uh, so it doesn't align. Uh, so my guess is that uh, I'm waiting for an, uh, some some of these companies to make a new cage, or I make uh, you know I can do another hole down here uh, that aligns with the top uh, top uh, uh, screw here on top of the, the camera. Anyway, um, but the cage works. Uh, beside that one, so. I mounted some F22 Falcon um, uh, adapter here so that I can attach the uh, handles from Falcon uh, down here. I have the, the handle, I have three ha different handles. And uh, I attach here one and another one on top of here. Okay, I'm going to do the build and um, let's see how it goes. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to leave uh, everything in the description for what I got. And what I wanted to do is the minimal uh, as possible and the Falcon system helps a lot. So I, I hope Falcon will come out with a cage for the uh, Blackmagic um, full frame 6K because I will remove, basically if you get a Falcon you, you don't need this adapter here because, uh, and on the bottom because uh, they have it already uh, integrated in the cage. So Falcon, please do a cage for the Blackmagic uh, full frame. I'm not sure why they don't have it for the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cine Camera, um, since they are very, uh, um, very common. Okay, so let's do the install of the uh, cage. And hopefully everything goes well. So you have to incline a bit to uh, to align the bottom uh, hole here. There is one, okay, and the other one. It's just a bit of a pain at the beginning uh, when you start to screw in. Fortunately, there are two on the bottom, so it basically locks the camera inside the cage, which is pretty good. Okay, this one done, and this other done. Okay, good. So here you see, it locks in, uh, but on, on the top, I cannot screw anything. Even if, if I don't put this one in, that that hole doesn't align with the with the uh, screw on the camera, but if you can if you can see it flex just a little bit. So if you have to mount a bunch of stuff like a a monitor or other things on top, uh, I would not uh, uh, use this. Uh, but uh, you know it depends. It depends what kind of uh, rig build you do and how heavy but of course it's much better if you have a screw on top of two so this one doesn't flex at all and it's locked in okay everything else works the button you can reach everything here on top uh, and on the sides there it's open so you can put all the uh, things that you want now what I do here so here there is a slide for um, for a uh, tripod uh, thing is a standard but what I do 
I I got a double screw uh, Falcon um, adapter for F38 and I screw this one in like this actually probably this way and uh, I'm going to align it with the with the camera uh, okay so like this let me see if the holes are uh, aligned yeah it should be okay like this Okay. Okay, I line uh yeah, like that. I'm going to tie it enough. Okay, great. Yep. Yeah. So if you see it lands on on top of this so it's it's a good uh, uh, you see good fit I'm waiting for I'm going to buy an F38 uh, F50 uh, plate so that this is bigger larger so it has more surface contact and it's, it's much better for a tripod uh, locked in so I hope if Falcon does a cage you will add the F38 F50 uh, um, uh, attachment here on the bottom okay so I do this then uh, let me so let's move the camera down here and what I build is um, uh, there is a falcon uh, plate where I can put the rods in it is a 15 millimeter rods and I attach this uh, ad adapter here um, to lock in and make it uh, really sturdy so here I'm going to attach a, an F38 plate so that I can uh, I attach the camera on top of here so I'm back so let's attach this uh, plate here the F38 plate and I put and this this plate has a, a one-fourth adapter screw but I removed that so I can use a three-fourths uh, screw adapter which is much bigger much sturdy okay okay I need to oh I have a screw here I need to remove it because it is in the way and I'm going to show you what I use that screw for. Uh, actually, I'm getting stuck. Let me remove again, sorry. Okay, let's remove this screw, a small screw. Okay, and let's mount to the F38 adapter. Here, okay, and I wanted to have the um, the button here where I can unlo unlock the adapter uh, on the edge, so I can uh, uh, use it with my hand. Uh, access, okay, and I locked in, and then I put back this screw. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use this screw for. Also I did, so I added the F38 to this plate, and this is all from Falcon, and I add this screw, and then I had, uh, you see, there is an adapter for 3 fourths uh, screw um, to 1 fourth. I add this because I'm going to attach this F38, currently it's F38, and soon it will be an F50 adapter, like the one that I want to add it to the bottom of the camera until Falcom hopefully makes a, a 
makes it a cage for the black magic uh, full frame camera so I add this screw and by chance I had this um, MVNE uh, uh, case so I bought an MVNE 2 terabyte uh, I think it's a PCI 4 uh, MVNE so this goes up to I, th I don't remember if it was a uh, uh, 5,000 uh, 5, uh, uh, megabits, uh, if I remember correctly, but it uses USB-C. So this one, by chance, I didn't plan for it. Actually, I planned for it, but I ha already have it. So if you see here, there is a, a, a bottom entrance see here. So I put a little screw on the, on the back of this cage and it slides right inside and I can stop it right there so I can plug a USB to to the um, uh, camera and with this screw I just locked in uh, by pressure this uh, case MVNE okay that's it you see, so this is really cool because uh, it's away from everything, it's tucked in, and when I need to uh, outload data from here, so files, videos, um, or pictures, whatever, I can just unplug this and that's it, and the Falcon is really fast. And then on the bottom, I'm currently I'm going to use this uh, F38 adapter. And I will use this one to mount it to the uh, to the uh, tripod. I have a small tripod, so that one will be a next purchase, maybe for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is done. So this is the uh, bottom part of the uh, build. So I can add the camera right there and this one locks in here and so you cannot uh, move it. So you see, it's really cool. I like it, it's very minimal. Hopefully when Falcom will come out with the new cage, this, this plate will be integrated with an F50 so I won't have this uh, this um if you can see i don't know i don't i will not have all this uh build up this platform and adapters but this one will fit directly on the plate that's my my thinking hopefully and even in the bottom okay so this one i can just remove it like this push it and remove it very easy falcon the falcon system is really cool for that so this is the uh, camera okay and then I can add the oh let me add actually the the uh, battery so as you know black magic uh, pocket similar camera are not uh, battery friendly let's say and so I have this battery adapter with the um, MPF uh, 970 so I add this to the and back so I'm not planning right now to have a, a, a screen but I want to use the screen for this so that's why I'm going to be minimal and I add this here I'm go uh, I bought another ad uh, cross uh, adapter that, that is higher so that I can maybe put it this one horizontal instead of vertical if you can if you can see let me see okay so anyway this one goes inside here that's it and then I just need to plug uh, the cables from here um, right there to the camera here on the side okay let me do that and it's plugged in okay and it's actually uh, this battery when you have a battery like this it will it will power the, the camera but also will charge the battery that's inside the camera so if you think about it since it's hot uh, swappable when this one is done 
uh, I can remove it, but the camera won't be turned off because it has the, the battery inside here. So I can have two or three of this and I can swap it and very, very easily. Okay. And I can, I can open the screen all the way. So I have the screen here. And of course it, it won't work for any situation. Uh, you know, but I would like to keep it uh, as simple as possible. So let me put back this and then we'll add the handles. So I have diff three different handles and this guy, I'm going to put it here on the side. Okay. This one, I'm going to put it here on the side. Okay, and this top handle, I'm going to put it here on the side, on the top. And this is all the Falcon system, it's super, super easy to uh, plug. Okay, and that's it. Let me put the car. Now, what I'm missing, okay, so I'm missing, so for example, let me plug the cable for the, the, uh, USB for the MVNE data. I'm going to buy a shorter cable because it's right here in the back. So it's very, very close. And I plugged in. And then I have this um, um, microphone from uh, uh, Deity. It's really small and cool microphone. So plugged here. Uh, I can put it here for now, like this, on top of the, uh, and plug it here on the side of the camera. So you see, very easy. I can plug it here or on top of on top of here uh, with another adapter that I have. So I have two places where to put, and. Uh, Last but not least, I'm going to put the uh, length, lens, which is my uh, the Sigma uh, 24 to 105. So, and I bought a Sigma uh, to L mount adapter, and that's it. Okay, so this is the camera. Uh, Sorry, the light is not uh, super good. I have to improve that for sure. Let me uh, let me put you down a bit uh, so you can see better. Okay, okay, and like that. Okay, so this is the camera. Um, what else? Just few comments. Okay, so this minimal uh, build, um, so that um, I can adapt very easily to other uh, configuration. Let me move a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. And it's very, very simple uh, build, rig, and the Falcon system is really cool. I like it a lot uh, because uh, it's very simple. You can swap this um, handle very easily. There it is. Okay, so... Um, what, what I would like to see, I would like to see a cage from Falcon that has all this integrated connection and adapter um, that works for the uh, Blackmagic pocket similar camera full frame. And then um, um, I would like to have that so that uh, this build will be much simpler and of course cheaper.
uh, I like the fact that with this this plate I can slide in an MVNE here on the bottom you can see here so it's away from everything and the cables I need to you know do some cable management but it's going to be very easy because uh, on, are on the bottom here and they are very very simple to to remove from from everything here down here I'm going to buy uh, shorter cables this one is very short this one is too long and this one I can already and the, the power cable I can already uh, attach to the a rod with the velcro what I'm going to do I'm going to buy another adapter of this guy that connects the two rods but higher I'm going to put it right here so that I can attach a uh, lens uh, holder on the bottom here but also I have the nu uh, Tilta Nucleus Nano 2 um, uh, where do I have it here? Let me get it a second. Which has a, a motor and um, has a motor here and the um, controller, which the controller has a, a um, NATO rail so I'm going to buy here the NATO rail so I'm going to buy a, a F22 to NATO rail adapter uh, so it will uh, get to me maybe next month so I'm going to do another video where I have everything um, attached and this one will go probably around this location something like that and I thought of when I get the nitro rail to attach it uh, like this, something like that, or on top. I have to check which one is bad. Or I, I move the microphone here, and this one I attach to the uh, to the handle. We'll see how it goes. And then there is this uh, motor. And I have two locations where to put it. Of course, the rods here on the bottom. I'm going to buy another uh, another uh, motor because um, this is a zoom lens, so I need the motor for the zoom and one for the focus. And I'm going to get another uh, uh, lens. And in that case, uh, uh, one or two motors are okay. Yeah. So, and I'm going to attach it here on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to do the video when I get the adapter for the controller here so that uh, I can figure out where to put everything. And of course there are going to be some cable management to, to do it here too. Okay. And uh, just a second. Oh, okay. And um, that's it. Basically I have this my setup. Let me move away these guys. And uh, this is the camera. Okay. Very simple, very minimal, uh, and everything should work fine. Now I just need to do some shooting. I'm in a location in the mountain, so I'm going to do some uh, uh, shooting of the fall, uh, which is going to be nice because uh, very nice colors around in the mountain. And that's it. So if you have any questions, please uh, leave it in the comments. I'm going to leave all the, the links about all these accessories in the description. So if you uh, want, you can check them out. And if you buy this camera, please, uh, uh, like me, ask Falcon to make a, a cage uh, for the Blackmagic Pocket Simeon camera, full frame in this case. So that this build will become even more minimal. Okay. And uh, please leave a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have any comments, leave it uh, down. And I'll see you on next video. Ciao. Bye-bye.